All right, today we will be covering lesson 9-3 on reflections. We're going to start with our intro again. Mr. Scott plays an, plans another transformation for the marching cougars. The sign of the y, inner, y coordinate of each marcher changes from positive to negative. Maria, whose position is shown by the X in the diagram, moves from point 2, 4 to 2 comma negative 4 as you can see in the picture below it says this type of transformation is called a reflection reflections are sometimes called flips because the figure is flipped like a pancake on the coordinate plane examples of the reflections are defined by the functions x y goes to negative x comma y which is a reflection across the y axis the example shown above is described by x, y goes to x, negative y, which is a reflection across the x axis. The function x, y goes to y, x defines a reflection across the line y equals x. Every reflection has a line of reflection, which is the line that the reflection maps to itself. In the above diagram, the line of reflection is the x-axis. This unit or this lesson will be chunked in eight separate sections. Those sections cover question number one, question two, three, question four, five, question six through nine, question 10 to 12, we've got question 13, 14, and lastly covers 15 and 16. So again, a very lengthy lesson, okay? Number one says, complete the table for the two reflections. It gives you all the pre-image data, gives you four points. And it asks in the first one, image, the first image, it wants you to go x, y goes to x, negative y. Then it also wants you to go from x, y, the original point, to negative x, comma, y. This shouldn't take us any time. I'm going to say about two minutes max on this. Two minutes go through question number one only. The answer to question number one has been provided for you. Notice that I kept the X the same. I changed the Y value, just the sign. In the second image column, I changed the sign of the X values, kept the Ys. On to your debriefing.